don't know how many people I've heard this from, but talking about a difficulty in making a decision about a shidduch or many possible shidduchim time after time, there are a number of people who are actually honest enough to admit that part of their concern, part of their thinking is, what will my friends say if I tell them I am marrying this girl? See, if you're thinking you're marrying a girl, it creates many problems. If a girl thinks she's marrying a bacher, it creates many problems. Because he's a very good bacher, by marrying him you ruin him. Because then he's not a bacher anymore. If you're thinking of marrying a girl, many considerations come into play that don't belong in marriage. You see, you have a chavrusa, you have a, ga a group of bacharim, five or six bacharim. They're all at the marriageable age, they're all going to go out, they're all going to get married, and then they're all going to compare their wives. They all went out, they all found girls, and they all married a girl. Well, there are girls and there are girls. One girl is better looking than the other girl. One girl is more popular than the other girl. One girl is more capable than the other girl. So he's afraid that if he marries this girl and his friends are marrying prettier girls or richer girls or whatever, the pastas. He's going to be ashamed. And, and he's right. He's right. If five guys marry five girls, of course you're going to compare the girls. Of course you're going to compare the guys. Everybody's marrying a girl who got the best girl. If everyone is marrying their bashet, if everyone is married to their husband, what are you comparing? What's to compare? Maybe I should have married your husband? Come on. So, if the thinking is, I want to find the nicest girl, the best girl, the most qualified girl, the most popular girl, this is trouble. It's trouble. Not only in getting married, it's trouble in staying married. It's trouble in being married. This is not correct marriage thinking. So, with non from people, I suggest to them, they say they're trying to get married for years, they've been going out, they're looking, they're going, and they can't. I suggest a very simple thing. Tell me when you want to be married. Give me a date. A reasonable date. You say you want to be married. You're desperate to be married. So what, you want to be married in three months? Is that reasonable? Can you get a caterer in three months? Okay, four months. Four months from now, you're getting married. Mark it on your calendar. You don't know who to marry? That's not the problem. Mark on your calendar that you're getting married. Then when you go out on a date, you ask the other person, the boy or the girl, say, I'm scheduled to be married on Tu Bishvat. <laughs> Does that fit your schedule? So people say, and again, I'm talking about non frum communities, people say, I can't do that. He'll chase all the guys away. Don't you want to chase them away? If they're not ready to get married? Are you really looking to have a date or do you want to be married? So what, well, but if I give them a date, they're, they're going to run away. You mean they don't want to be married. So let them run away. Make them run away. Stop wasting time with people who have no intentions of getting married. So if you say, I'm scheduled to be married to Bishwat, and he says, of which year? Fine. One eliminated. <laughs> One less doubt. He's not the guy. I think we need to start doing this in our community too. 
You want to be married or you want to find somebody? Make up your mind. It's not the same thing. I want to meet somebody. I want to go out with somebody nice, with somebody good. And then when if, if it, everything fits and everything is, works out, then maybe we'll get married. Or, yeah, we'll get married. Why? Because we're good. No. You get married because marriage is good. So if somebody says, you know, I'm not so excited about getting married, but I met somebody so special, I'm going to marry him or her. That's a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea. Because you may think they're wonderful and magnificent now, but nobody is so wonderful and so magnificent that you can live with them <laughs> for more than a week. Nobody. So if the only reason you're marrying me is because I'm ma magnificent, that's not fair. You can't do that to me. I can't be magnificent every day. So what's going to happen? Two weeks later, three weeks later, a year later, the marriage never justified itself. You never really wanted to be married. You thought the person you're marrying is magnificent. Eh, he's just human. Tegnish. There's a crisis in the marriage. This is not the way to get married. Marriage has to be the objective, the goal, the purpose, the ideal. And it's true in nature also. Every little girl wants to be married when she's nine years old. Who is she going to marry? Not a, not a boy. She doesn't like boys. She just wants to be married. Then we ruin it. We confuse them. So, yeah, but who are you going to marry? A bald guy or not a bald guy? And that's it. And they don't know what to do anymore. Put marriage back in the, in the, at the center. Put marriage back where it belongs. It helps. <laughs>